personal size, nine inch, 28 inch, holy jumpers. Hey everyone, Joel Answer. Today we're in Frisco, Texas, guys. Frisco, Texas, kind of north DFW area. Outside, Batch Bakery. To do the biggest, yeah, I think it's the, honestly, I think it's the world's biggest pie I've ever seen. I think it's the world's biggest pie, I really do. Biggest one I've ever seen. This is definitely a Texas-sized pie. So everybody, today we have a massive, huge, giant pie. Like, it is unfathomable how big this thing is. I think it's a 28 inch diameter or something. It's absolutely insane. I did get picked a flavor. I went with a cookies and cream. So basically it's like a Oreo base layer. You have like this cream cheese, Oreo whipped cream kind of filling. And then it's topped with like whipped cream frosting, stuffy, stuffy stuff. Like, listen, I don't know if we're even gonna be able to do this. This thing is massive. It's not that thick, which is great, but it is so big, it is so giant. But all these things here look delicious. They specialize in pies and cake. I honestly don't even think I'm gonna be able to finish this one. But at that, we are going to have one hour to complete the world's biggest Texas-sized pie. I don't know what you call it, we want. World's biggest pie, Texas pie, I'll call it interchangeable. Um, if we are able to complete it, we are gonna get the meal for free, which is cool. Um, no one has ever eaten one of these. It is just absolutely insane, absolutely massive. But it's really cool they offer it. I actually think like they have different sizes, they look like a 20 inch, which looks awesome. But then this one I think is actually even cooking like maybe a paella dish because it's so large. Anyway, I'll show you guys. This thing is scary, it's insane. I was just in here and let's go head in. I'll show you what we're dealing with. It's literally Texas size pie. Everything seems to be bigger in Texas, and this is no exception. So, 60 minutes, cookies and cream pie. Let me know your favorite kind of pie down below. I don't know. Cookies and cream is pretty damn good. I like pecan, I like coconut too. So, that, let's go eat. All right, everybody, so here we are with the Texas size pie, and I'm actually lucky to have the owner, Miss Leah, here to, well, tell us a little bit about this cookies and cream pie, but also show you. So, look at this. Texas size pie, which is just absolutely the most ridiculous, biggest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then personal size pie, and then like a full on standard size pie. So give you perspective, this thing's absolutely massive. So Miss Leah, tell me, so cookies and cream, it's like Oreos, like what, what do we actually got going on here? We have an Oreo crust, a whip filling with cream cheese, powdered sugar, a bunch of crushed Oreos, and then topped with more whipped, topping and crushed Oreos. Delicious, and now I know you very much are all about like real ingredients, there's nothing fake here. Right. So guys, let's just say this is not fat free, <laughs> this is not calorie free, everything is real butter, heavy whipping cream and deliciousness. We'll put it that way, homegrown deliciousness. Yes, real good. Yeah, real, <laughs> real good. Um, yeah, so it's about, what, 250, 300 bucks? Yeah. So there you go, so a 250, 300 dollar pie on the line, guys, free if we get in that 60 minutes. And apparently also, if I fail, I'm actually getting pied by this lady back here. So I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really think that's true of Texas hospitality, but everybody here has been fantastic. So thank you, Leah, I appreciate it. Um, oh, by the way, guys, just said, again, I'm totally down I'm gonna get to it. But they like got key lime pie and coconut cream pie. That's my favorite. Yes. And like so many pies and there's crispy squares and cakes and stuff. And you used to like custom cakes and whatever? Yeah, we do custom birthday cakes. We do um, always a seasonal flavor. So right now it's lemon blueberry, which is my favorite. Ooh, all right, well, hey, I know where to come by. I know where to come by a day where I'm not eating the world's biggest pie. But to that, guys, appreciate you. And uh, let's get started here. Just momentarily. All right, everybody, so with that, I think we might as well get started. I'm ready to rock. Everybody here ready to rock? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Thanks for everybody came on out. This is huge. Like, I really, this is a, t I don't think camera does this justice. Maybe I'm just biased, but hot damn, this thing is freaking massive. So where to start? I don't know. But let's get started here, guys. Maybe we'll say the count of like, what? Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, the All right, let's see, are you supposed to cut a pie? Just go, uh, let's just go into it, guys. I don't know if that's how you eat normally eat a pie, but here we go, got some, oh, wow, look at that, it is creamy. 
Looking good. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, wow. Woo. Cream cheese. Mm. Sugar. Sugar. Mm. Oreo. Oh, man. Mm. Hot damn. Um, it's gonna take a little bit. This is delicious of it, man. Uh, mm. Holy jumpers. Mm. Creamy. Mm. Oh yeah, like uh, hot damn. <laughs> so I see why people get a personal size pie. <laughs> Holy crap. Like I said, real ingredients, man. Mm. That was some heavy whipping cream. Mm. And you guys like don't have to be quiet. <laughs> you can breathe and stuff. Mm. We're just amazed. Mm. Mm. Hot damn. Holy pie. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we attempt to eat the world's biggest pie challenge. We are here in Frisco, Texas, taking on something which is bigger, even bigger, bigger than Texas size. This, this flavor was seasonal, but it was so popular. But man, they grab all the time. Mm. Woo. Holy pie. Is that the biggest one you've done? Man, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever created a pie this big before. Mm. A pie so pie, a pie so big, it outdid pie pants. Why is it a pie pants? Woo, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing though. This is not calorie free, not calorie free. So I'm gonna give you a heads up. This is a challenge you are not gonna want to miss. Attempting this challenge was one of the craziest decisions I have maybe ever made definitely at least in the last very long time i can't even say if we finish this challenge because this was absolutely ridiculous and i knew going into it this was going to be difficult but i had absolutely no clue truly how big and how difficult this thing would be and let's just say there's things even joel can't do apparently the four inch is very satisfying yeah. <laughs> yeah. you don't have to go this big <laughs> Hot damn. This is good though. I see why people choose the, or really wanted this cookies and cream one, but. But here we are at Batch Bakery taking on the Texas size pie or world's biggest pie challenge. So for this challenge, like we said, we had one hour to complete the challenge or to get the about $250 ish pie for free. I went with the cookies and cream pie, which was really good. It was like an Oreo pie, um, very kind of similar to, well, that's how I'd put it, that Oreo kind of cheesecake, cream cheese thing. I think three and a half minutes in. And all I can say is this is gonna be, we're in for a ride. Oh my God. Already, this is uh, satiating. Very satiating. I don't know, I, don't, I really don't want to get pied today, so. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I better shut up and eat. And I really enjoyed the flavor of it, but I would have liked, you know, maybe like one spoonful or like two spoonfuls. Um, and I mean, if you guys can't tell, I'm actually using a like ladle uh, slash like spatula to eat this thing. So arguably every time I fill that up, it's probably about the equivalent of like one normal piece of pie. This thing was just absolutely gigantic. It was hard to get over it. Um, you know, and the funny thing is the camera just doesn't do it justice. So like the pie sh like the paella dish that this is in is so high that it makes it look really, really, really thin. How many calories do you think that is? I don't wanna know. <laughs> Too many. And so I thought going into it, oh, this pie is gonna be pencil thin, but it's not. It was actually probably about an inch thick, um, which arguably is probably about the exact same as like a normal pie. Just, you know, how many times bigger? Monstrously bigger. And if you guys understand how diameters work, you know, your normal, what is it, like eight inch or nine inch standard size pie, when you go to a 28 inch, it's not like, oh, it's just four times the size. No, this is 
multiple, multiple, multiple times the size. Then of course we had the topping, like the whipped cream on top. We had the Oreo crust layer. Um, it was absolutely insane. And what I'll say is it looks like it's going quick, but you guys don't realize how difficult it is because it's so much volume moving at an accelerated rate. You got it. Man. Oh, well, I'm glad somebody has comments to me. <laughs> so, the nice thing is it's creamy, so it's going quick. But at the same time, it doesn't mean it's difficult. And I'm filling up quick as well. Ooh, wee. Mm. Crazy delicious, though. Crazy creamy. But man, that thing is. Mm. It's a quality pie, put it that way. Ugh. Ain't no cheap ingredients in that. Whew. So you seriously cannot look at this and be like, oh, look, that's easy. Uh, you know, six minutes you have X amount done. No, absolutely not. You gotta understand, right? It's like drinking a liquid. You can drink, you know, a liquid quicker than you can eat a chewy food like steak just because you can physically shove it into you quicker, if that makes sense but that does not mean it's any easier. And volume is still volume. I have a limited stomach capacity and you know, you can only fit so much in there. So like we said, craziest challenge in, I don't even know, this is, I don't, yeah, this is one I don't even know why I attempt it, but you gotta tune in for that. Now when it came to the actual batch, man, they made so many different cool cakes and cookies and pies, of course, all to uh, available like to order, so you can do your customs. They had a variety of like key lime pies and coconut cream pies, um, chocolate pies, peanut butter pies, which all looked delicious. Um, and I really do want to come back and try all those pies one day. But in the meantime, let's just say we have more than enough pie in front of us for this video. Oh, that was a mouthful of Oreo right on that one. Uh, well, there's not much to undo, but I'm doing, I'm doing the pants a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Get that extra horsepower. Yeah, that was a little, a little horsepower, not too much today, but maybe an extra 50. I don't even know if I'll be able to jump. <laughs> Way down with a Texas sized pie. Ugh. When it comes to the difficulty of this challenge, undoubtedly this is beyond expert. This is arguably in the impossible level. This is like the, I don't know, the Thor, like the Zeus, like the just ridiculous mountainous Hercules level challenge. Um, but huge thanks to the staff. The staff were also super friendly here at Batch. I definitely am living on a prayer right now. Pull the jump it. Let's see if we can do this, guys. This is where it gets real. Come on, Joe. Come on, This pie was undoubtedly made with quality products. Like, seriously, it was pure whipping, like, straight quality heavy cream and heavy butters like this thing was real there ain't no cheap or artificial ingredients here oh, excuse yeah, me you guys. Yeah. Yeah. actually i do feel a little better now oh. <laughs> dear god so i get a so i get a little more of that it's funny the pie is so sweet that soda pop is not sweet Wow. Ugh. Need some like uh, uh, coffee or something bitter. Whew. But I'll say it once more. This is definitely a video you are not going to want to miss. You are not going to want to skip. This was absolutely insane. But with that, everybody, let's tune on in. Let's have some fun. Let's see if ultimately we can eat the world's biggest pie challenge. I think we're coming in about uh, 11 minutes. Whew. It's intense, guys. Probably the. Okay. Ooh, 
hardest 11 minutes of a first first 11 minutes of a challenge. I have in a very long time and I didn't remember it. Woo. This thing is huge. Well, I think it's deceiving because it's going so quickly. take it. That'd be a good story. So what happened to him? He ate too much pie. Alright everybody, we're about 13 and a half minutes in. Oh, slowly but surely. This is tough. This is a lot, a lot, a lot of pie. Let's just say I can tell this is real butter, real cream. My bowels can tell it's real too, I'll tell you that much. But like I said, we're going to shut up and eat. Delicious, but whew, you don't need one this big. Clenching match. So guys, yeah. this has officially turned into a clenching match. <laughs> you got it, you got it, man. Come on. It's clutch time. I had Mexican last night. It was great, but it's not great in my stomach today. Oh, no. That being said, we're gonna keep doing what we can do. I'm gonna try not to, uh, not to. Uh, how do you nicely put that? You know what I'm saying? No, not it's not that end. <laughs> It's the bottom end I'm, it's the bottom end I'm worried about, so we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Damn good pie. You know, I'm not, I don't believe it, I'm not sick of the flavor. I'm just clenching for my life down below. So let's see what we can do. Whew. We got it, we got it. Thank you guys. We got it.
23 minutes, guys. Oof. Good thing I have a good sphincter. <laughs> I put it to the test quite often. Oof. Keep it together. Do you eat something really cold, like frozen? You have like ice or something? Cold and frozen? No, do you so, what do you have in the freezer? Uh, do you have like a bag of something in the freezer? A bag of something, yeah. Bag of, you know. Like frozen berries? Yeah, exactly. There you go. Thank you. You have frozen beans? Half doesn't have to go terrible. I'm about to shove that on my shirt. Yeah. To try to, try to take my mind off <laughs> myself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oof. There you go. It is cold. Oh! Yeah. Hot damn. Feel that one. Back. You just leave it there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, I do have a feeling like I have a little bit of life you know, brought back into me. Thank you to the awesome ownership here. <laughs> Shoving berries in my you shirt. Yeah. I'll leave as the hunchback of Frisco. <laughs> There's a little air in me if I can just get it out. Got it. Woo! Oh, come on, guys. Let's get this done. We got it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Position this in my back. Just come show it back on the shirt. Tell me a story. Once upon a time. <laughs> that was even hard. At what, a place called Batch. What gave you the idea to open Batch?
so much easier when you can shove in and not have to worry about it coming out. <laughs> well, how are we doing for time, man? Huh? 35. Just say 35. Woo! 35, 35 minutes. minutes, everybody. Oh, man. In the pie and chill. So at this point they actually gave me the win and said I was done. Personally I wanted to at least try to do a little bit more, um, even if technically by their standards I had completed the challenge. So at this point, again according to them, I was just going above and beyond, but I wanted to see if I could, you know, at least do a little bit more. But ultimately, I don't make the rules, so the restaurant makes them and just go along with it. just a little bit hoping I can but then I'm just going to go sit on the throne all right yeah. you are you are Seconds later. Well, everyone, reporting to you from the throne. I gotta say that was. Uh, I might as well do the closeout here. So we did successfully complete the challenge. Oh, I'm gonna be here for a while. I'll tell you that much. Whew, uh, huge shout out to Batch. That was a very, very, very delicious pie. The cookies and cream was great, but it was a lot. It was very, very big. But yeah, I totally recommend stopping on by. Apparently, some of the favorites are. Um, coconut cream and key lime, which I may or may not have gotten one to go. Not for now. I'm going to freeze it. I'll have it in like a month. I have enough pie for a long time, guys. But we did successfully complete the challenge. We did get the $250 or $300 pie for free. Um, that was a heck of a challenge, guys. That was so difficult. Like I said, the thing is, it was a lot, a lot. And it went quick at the start just because it was easy to eat. You know what I'm saying? Basically, like soft and delicious but man i knew that'd be difficult and that was way more difficult than i anticipated but uh yeah guys huge thanks to batch thanks somebody came on out we had great showing here frisco's been awesome tex has been awesome in general um but yeah i'm gonna continue to probably be in this toilet for a little bit but at least we didn't make a mess still haven't made a mess so that kind of a mess a bottom end mess during a challenge, I hope not to, because that's kind of a, it's something I never want to have to say I did, so. Till next time, everybody. Whew, say happy, hungry, happy eating. Batch, really cool place. Cakes, pies, and yeah. Big. Texas sized. Don't eat a pie that big, guys. Till next time, happy eating. Everybody, the time has come. 
not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.